Hello and welcome back to another video guide and in this video we'll look at AI train builds as well as basic train stations and train networks as well as some of the basic track laying principles but please note that trains have only just been released and are still very buggy so what we talk about may well change at a later date. So first off, for a train to be functional within a factory for transporting materials, it requires a minimum of one locomotive and one freight car, or in a push-pull setup, a locomotive followed by a freight car and another locomotive. Now if the train is player run, you can just use a single locomotive for all these operations. And it's important to note that each system has its own perks. For example, a single locomotive setup is generally much easier to understand and set up initially, whereas a push-pull setup, generally speaking, is faster and uses less resources. But if set up incorrectly, will not work at all. Now in order to set up a push-pull system, we will have to place a station facing away from the direction we want it to go, followed by a rail which connects to the other station facing the opposite way. Now with two stations this is simple, however plan your freight depots accordingly. They should mirror the opposite station. Now if you do wish to add a third station in the middle, note that the AI will make a habit of going back and forth between stations but not necessarily in the right order, or possibly it may not work at all. So therefore in order to run multiple stations along a terminal or a push pull track, you will have to split the line off into the next station, then merge it back onto the same line using a T-junction, which we will actually be covering in more detail in the next video. However, it is important not to place loops on this layout, otherwise if they use the loops, the trains will become confused and stop working entirely. Now for single locomotive trains, the setup becomes a lot simpler and you have two options. Now the first is the same as the push-pull setup. However, after each station, you will have to add a small loop so that it can change direction like this. Now the second option is to create a large loop and each station placed along this loop must be facing the same direction as the trains are traveling. Now unless you start adding loops and splits, this should be very easy and straightforward to set up. There is another way in which you can run a train layout, however at the moment there isn't much of a requirement for it, and this is to run two parallel tracks, similar to how roads work, where one train will only travel in one direction along that particular track, and on the other parallel track, the other train will be moving in the opposite direction. Now this will be much more important as the game develops and train collisions are implemented, as currently they don't. However, if you do run multiple trains on the same line, in some instances a train may be loading or unloading and there is a chance that this will give the next train just enough time to catch up and collide with the train in front. Now we don't know how the trains will respond to this, but it is important to be aware of this for the time being before we start adding 20 trains on the same line in order to run our factory perfectly. Another thing to think about is when it comes to running multiple freight carts. Now unless you want each station to send and receive items, you will have to use an empty platform. This is very useful in larger factory systems. Also, if running a factory along a train line and sending items between stations, it's very important to think about the station depot logistics. Take for example, station 1 has two depots, A and B and depot A is sending ore and depot B receiving late tier items. Now when this train goes to station 2, station 2 will have to receive the ore 
at depot A and send the iron bars, the next along the line, to depot B. This then swaps for the next station. This is the important thing. So alternately, the, the depots are going to swap. So station three now will have to receive items from depot B and export items from depot A. Now, if these items are going back to the first station, you'll note that station one's depot A is already exporting the ore, so it will not be able to receive the late tier items from station three. Therefore, you either have to add a fourth station to swap the freight depots, or you will have to add an extra freight depot and freight cart to station one and three. Now with that mouthful covered, which I hope you understood, we now have the basics to laying track. Now this will be short and sweet as I will be covering more advanced track laying and layouts over the next few guides. So rule number one is to start with a small straight track when entering or leaving stations. This means that if B, later on, you'll be able to split the track without redoing the whole railway, as we can only add segments at the end of other segments. Now our second tip is when laying corners. For a 90 degree corner, you can place a track three foundations long and three foundations wide to create a perfect 90 degree corner. Now this will keep everything uniformed and help you when you're organizing your railways or making circles. When it comes to running tracks up a ramp, the steep ramps are too steep for the track. However, if you place a steep ramp followed by a half ramp, you can quite easily run a track upwards. However, if you do not need to worry about space, you can actually run a track up a half ramp for a smooth incline or decline. So that's all we have time for in this video, guys. But if you did find it helpful, please do drop a thumbs up. It really is appreciated and helps the video get out there. And obviously, if you want to see more, then make sure to subscribe as we post guides weekly. Also, if it's your first time here, we run a Discord where everyone is really friendly and helpful. So if you want to join our Discord, do check the link below and join us. I look forward to seeing you there. Anyway, guys, until next time, ciao for now.